Welcome to lecture number 8 on the visualization of graphs. Today we want to talk about the Sugiyama framework to get hierarchical layouts of directed graphs. This is quite connected to what we had in the previous lecture, where we tried to get upward planar drawings of directed graphs. In general, however, those don't exist. For example, if we look at this graph here, we might have edges that go in both directions. We might have cycles, and the graph might not be planar. Then we cannot get an upward planar drawing. But we still want to get a drawing that's as close to upward planar as possible. So in this framework, our input is a directed graph, and we want to get as output a drawing that closely reproduces the hierarchical properties of the graph. The properties that this drawing should have are that we want to have the vertices on few horizontal lines, we want the edges to be directed upwards as far as possible, we want the crossings to be minimized, we want the edges to be as short as possible, and we want the vertices to be evenly spaced. The problem is, of course, that these criteria can be contradictory. So if we have short edges, that can mean that we need many crossings. And if we want the vertices to be evenly spaced, then that means that we cannot have only few horizontal lines. So we need some framework that has several heuristics that gives us a good drawing, but there is again no optimum one. There are many applications for this, a few of them that I will show you here in the y edge gallery. This gives the output of a Java profiler. Here is a so-called storyline visualization, which is from the original Star Wars trilogy from Design Considerations for Optimizing Storyline Visualization by Tani Hashiadal. This is motivated by an XKCD drawing. And here, again, this is very close to this, but here the hierarchies are horizontal and not vertical. And again, this drawing that you've seen in the first few lectures already for trees, there we got these kind of radial layouts, the layered drawings, and those are also hierarchies, except that in the tree we can figure out the direction ourselves, it's not given. To get such hierarchical drawings, we will use the framework suggested by Sugiyama, Tagawa, and Toda in 1981. This consists of five steps. First, we take the input directed graph. Now we want the edges to be drawn upwards, but for every cycle there must be at least one edge that's drawn downwards. So first we pick some edges and we flip the direction to break all the cycles so that we get some acyclic ST digraph. And now it's possible to draw all the edges upwards here. And if we minimize the number of edges that we have to flip here to get an acyclic graph, then we minimize the number of edges that are drawn downwards. Then, in the next step, we want to perform the leveling. So we want to figure out for every vertex on which of these horizontal layers does it lie. And in the meantime, we place some dummy vertices whenever an edge is too long that it spans more than two layers. After we fix this leveling, so we fix the y-coordinate of all the vertices, we want to minimize the number of crossings. And after we're done with that, then we place the vertices in these layers so that we get the good separation and finally get a nice drawing of the edges. In the next few parts, I will go through all these steps and show you how hard they are and how we can efficiently solve them or how we can efficiently get approximate good solutions.